Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashna and you're watching Royal Commerce. So, video start करने से पहले आपको याद दिला दूँ If you are new to my channel, then जल्दी से subscribe कर दो Click on the bell button to get notified whenever my new video comes and like my video so that I get motivated to make more videos. So this video deals with the economics chapter of determination of income and employment and here we are going to discuss how the aggregate income is generated in the economy and how it is linked with the employment in general. So let's get started. So determination of income and employment is also known as theory of employment and the credit for theory of employment goes to J.M. Keynes who was an economist. He was a wonderful economist and uh, this is because he gave a new turn to economics and that's why we get to learn more of his theories and ideas than other economists. So according to him, the theory of income and employment is based on the principle of effective demand. Effective demand in short means the total demand is equal to total supply. So before this, we will learn the basic concepts of aggregate demand and aggregate supply so that we don't get confused. Aggregate demand is the total value of all the final goods and services that are planned to buy by all the sectors of the economy at a given period of time. Now, dekho, aggregate demand is the planned demand. It is not the actual demand. It is the planned demand towards a product. Whether a particular product will have its demand in the upcoming years or not is decided by aggregate demand. Okay, now we move on to the components of aggregate demand. So aggregate demand has four components that are household consumption expenditure, investment expenditure, government consumption expenditure and net export. Net export is nothing but export minus import. Now listen, if you have any thing demand, then there is a reason that you are doing that demand for particular product. Now let's say you are going to your mom and say, let's give you food. You are demand for food. Why? Because you are hungry. In the same way, there is a reason for every particular product for a reason for its demand. So first one is the household consumption expenditure which is nothing but the private final consumption expenditure. Matlab consumer apne private use ke liye goods and services ki demand karta hai. Ab private use yaani food, shelter, medicine, education etc. Apart from private consumption expenditure consumer aur kis cheez ki demand kar sakta hai? Investment ki. Aapne paise diye property khari di aapka investment hua. Aapne company mein paisa lagaya aapka investment hua. तो कंज्यूमर इन्वेस्टमेंट पे भी खर्च करता है ताकि उसे प्रॉफिट मिल सके अब कंज्यूमर क्या तो प्राइवेट यूज के लिए एक्सपेंडिचर करेगा या इन्वेस्टमेंट के लिए नेक्स्ट इज गवर्नमेंट कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर यानी गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा किए गए एक्सपेंडिचर्स गवर्नमेंट कैसे खर्च करेगी जब कोई स्कूल बना दिया हो कोई हॉस्पिटल बना दिया हो पब्लिक प्लेस लाइक पार्क बना दिया हो एक्सेट्रा सो ऑल दिस लीड्स टू गवर्नमेंट कंजम्पन एक्सपेंडिचर दैट इज नथिंग बट द एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट नेक्स्ट वन इज नेट एक्सपोर्ट अब देखो कई सारे ऐसे कंज्यूमर्स हैं जो फॉरेन गुड्स की डिमांड करते हैं और कई सारे ऐसे गुड्स भी हैं जिनकी डिमांड फॉरेन कंट्रीज में है तो नेट एक्सपोर्ट इज नथिंग बट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन एक्सपोर्ट एंड इंपोर्ट सो दीज वे द फोर कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ एग्रीगेट डिमांड बट अकॉर्डिंग टू टू सेक्टर इकोनॉमी इन जनरल एग्रीगेट डिमांड इज इक्वल टू कंजम्पन प्लस इन्वेस्टमेंट लेट इज अंडरस्टैंड दिस विद हेल्प ऑफ अ शेड्यूल एंड अ डायग्राम Before that, we will discuss about consumption function. Why? Because there are certain terms like autonomous consumption, MPC, which we haven't covered yet. So, first we will discuss the consumption function and after that we move on to the schedule of aggregate demand. So, consumption function is nothing but the functional relationship between the consumption and the income. Let us see how. When the income is zero, there is still consumption that is known as autonomous consumption. Uh, let's take an example of a poor person. He's not earning anything. He's not earning any income. His income is basically zero. But still he is consuming on what? Food, shelter and clothes. So that is known as autonomous consumption. So when a person is not earning any income, his income is zero. But still he spends on the basic necessities of life. That is food, shelter and clothes. That is known as autonomous consumption. Clear? So this was the first stage. Now the second stage is when his income is equal to the consumption. 
सो वेन द इनकम इज इक्वल टू द कंजम्पन दैट पॉइंट इज नोन एज ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट वाई बिकॉज वॉट एवर अ पर्सन इज अर्निंग ही स्पेंडिंग द होल अमाउंट ऑफ मनी ऑन हिज कंजम्पन ही इज नॉट एट ऑल सेविंग दैट मीन्स हिज सेविंग्स आर जीरो दैट्स वाई दिस पॉइंट इज नोन एज ब्रेक इवन पॉइंट Now the third stage is when the income increases, the consumption also increases, but less than proportionately. This is because when a person's income increases, he tends to save more than to consume, and that's why the increase in the consumption is less than proportionately. Clear? So now we move on to the equation of consumption function. So the equation is c equals to c bar plus m p c into y. C is the consumption. C bar is the autonomous consumption. M P C is M P C that is marginal propensity to consume, and Y is the income. So let's do some example question so as to know how the equation works. So the question is find the value of C that is consumption when the C bar that is autonomous consumption is twenty crore, income is hundred crore, and M P C is zero point seventy five. So according to the equation, C equals to C bar plus B into Y. and when we put the values as said in the question we get the value of consumption as rupees 95 crore believe me these types of questions are very simple because you need to just put the values that's it let's do one more question of this type so the question says what is the income when the consumption is rupees 45 crore autonomous consumption is rupees 20 crore and mpc is 0.50 or we can say 0.5 So please pay attention because here the question is asking to calculate the value of income and not the value of consumption why because the value of consumption is already given that is rupees 45 crore okay so according to the equation consumption equals to autonomous consumption plus mpc into income after putting the values you will get the value of income as rupees 50 crore okay so now we move on to the two types of consumption function they are average propensity to consume and marginal propensity to consume in short apc and mpc so we can better understand them by differentiating them so apc is the ratio of consumption expenditure to the level of income that means c divided by y equals to apc whereas mpc is the ratio of change in consumption to the change in income that means change in c divided by change in y gives mpc apc can be more than one why because we know that consumption is more than the income before the break even point so as long as the consumption is more than the income the apc can be more than one but the mpc cannot be more than one as the change in consumption cannot be more than change in income Now, when the income increases, APC will fall. Why? Because as the income increases, consumption too increases. But the increase in consumption is less than the increase in the income, and that's why APC falls. But at the uh, at a rate less than that of MPC. But when the income increases, MPC will also fall. But at a rate more than that of APC, and MPC remains uh, the same throughout. So we are done with the consumption function and its types. So this chapter will be continued in the next part. Till then, stay safe and thank you for watching the video.